real things. And those born of inner demons. I pray that Colden is really here, and alive. An old diary. Scylla is here, like in the vision. Colden came this way. How old is Fuller, really? Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. Moreover, I don't know who he was opening up, but he seemed quite enthusiastic. I'd like to be on that table. Oh my God, what, what is happening to me? What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else.
I seen this symbol? Awaken and free me. It is trapped.
You are confronting powers that surpass you.
It looks like things are back to normal. What's going on? It never ends. Damnation. That's... That's me. know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Cold? What's going on? Was it a hallucination? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. No, it can't be. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for all your friend. You should envy her. Murder! This madness must stop! Holden?
What did they do to you? He gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. Violent living, vibrant. The sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. The picture in the warehouse, it was his. All this time, Charles Hawkins had been lurking around. Of course. He can't let me go. Why? Is his love that obsessive? Love? He is the only one who still believes he can feel it. <sighs> All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. It was a... studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. You mean the guards? What the? Oh no. Hey! You won't Just get far. Wait. Wait. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas? Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it!
I'd be better off finding a tool. island.
No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> It's over now. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pius. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me?
You and Dr. Colden were close, from what I saw. Yeah, you can say that. We've known each other for some time now, and... Well, let's say... that I was sweet on her the first day that I saw her. Did she share these feelings? I think so. But I'm not sure. We weren't very good at expressing that sort of thing, but... But we enjoyed spending time together. In any case, I won't let her death go unpunished. I understand your feelings, Bradley. But I don't think that you're in the right state to make such a decision. He killed her, Pierce. I can't do nothing. Faced with this situation. Fuller's crimes won't go unpunished, I give you my word. But for now, you must keep a cool head. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. Why do you think you're responsible for everything that has happened? Because I am. I am the one who read the Forbidden Book. I am the one who painted the creature. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. You've recovered from yesterday's condition. That must mean you can fight it. We must find something that will stop you from relapsing. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you.
Damn it. The entrance to the tunnel has been buried following the cave-in. But at least I didn't dream it. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality and we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. The dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger, <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center, a star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects, I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again.
Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. She was trying to send back the shadow. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. that Drake was looking for. I prefer to be alone.
Ah, uh, it's you again. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Pierce! Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley. You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. You bet I will. 